Hey guys, long time no see. I know, but we're gonna catch up. We're gonna get into all that. I put on my community page on YouTube and I also put on my Instagram story for y'all to ask me questions. So I'm gonna be answering y'all's questions in this video. I'm so excited. I feel like we never like chat. I feel like I never get to talk to y'all for real because I'm always doing reviews and like wig videos and stuff. So I definitely wanna do more of these so you know we can connect because I feel like we don't really connect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't ever get to talk to y'all for real. So, yeah, I got y'all's questions right here. Y'all asked some good ones. So, we're gonna get into all the tea. While I get ready, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I don't really know if this is gonna be a tutorial or I'm just gonna be like talking to y'all while I do my makeup. I don't really know, but I'll probably more so just be telling y'all the products I'm using as I do my makeup. And then, you know, if y'all want an in depth tutorial, then I can do that. But yeah, y'all, let's get into it. I'm finna apply my moisturizer because the girl got dry skin. But how have you guys been? I'm so glad to be back recording. I miss filming i really really did i hope i can get through this in like a timely manner because i'd be struggling y'all to talk and like do my makeup or something at the same time it'd be taking me like twice as long to do my makeup because i'll be running my mouth but yeah oh i'm just using um my bad girl because i just said i was gonna tell y'all the products but i'm using the tatcha dewy skin cream as my moisturizer to moisturize my face is what it looks like and I also have the rice wash. That's what I use to wash my face with. Love that. I just got it like a month ago. And I've been loving her. So, yeah, I got it off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure Tatcha has a website. But I just happened to come across it on Amazon. So, I got it off Amazon. So, if you want the link to it, I will link my Amazon storefront below. Because you got an Amazon storefront now. So, yeah, if you want to purchase Amazon storefronts in the description. <laughs> but, okay. And then I also moisturize my lips before I start my makeup, too. Because, girl, I hate having dry lips. So I'm trying to do my makeup. That's a no-no. Hushi Beauty Lip Gloss. Per Coco Kisses is what I'm applying. Just a little bit to stay moisturized while I do this. You know, because y'all know my lip gloss is moisturizing. Y'all already know the tea. If you haven't shopped already, what are you doing? <laughs> the link to my website is in the description box. Go shop my lip gloss. Yeah, and they're all very moisturizing. Better ask somebody. Yeah, tell a friend and tell a friend. Go shop hooshibeauty.com. But okay, I have not posted since I did the tutorial for my commercial that I did with my lip gloss that went viral on TikTok and everybody wants to know how I did it. I did a YouTube video on how I did it. That's the last time I posted, I think. And that was in February because I dropped my lip glosses February... February... February 5th. So, dang, it's been over two months since I posted. I only posted once this whole year. That's crazy. Because y'all know I normally post like once a week. But we finna get into that. We finna get into that because I know some of y'all did ask where I've been and stuff. So, we're gonna get into that. Okay, don't mind my hair either, y'all. I got it thrown up in this ponytail. I had wine curled it the day before Easter. I curled my hair Saturday night and then I had it pinned up until... Easter I took it down so these curls are from Easter so yeah and my roots is all puffy it's, it's just a lot going on up here about time for me to go back and see my girl if y'all didn't see the vlog I did when I got my hair done on TikTok go watch and go follow me on TikTok Alyssa.Jalice but yeah it's about time for me to go back I think I want to get curtain bangs this time when I go back because I got long layers cut the last time I went so I think I want to try curtain bangs I don't have to go get my hair done or like get it straightened because I actually might wear my natural hair for a little bit before I go back to her like my you know curly hair not my hair straightened because my hair is silk pressed right now but yeah don't mind this it's just throwing up here but anyway starting with the NYX brow glue I'm putting this on my eyebrows to make them things lay down because my eyebrows be wild I need to get them done I got them laminated before I went to Hawaii last year and it turned out so good i actually supposed to do a like prep with me for my trip or whatever me getting my eyelashes done me getting my brows laminated i got them waxed too that day when i got my eyebrows laminated that's my first time getting them waxed my first time getting them laminated too um and i have recorded it and i never posted the um prep with me video because for one when i went and got my lashes done i got lashes in for the first time and that was a mess if y'all follow me on instagram and was keeping up with that last year and then you already know that was a horrible experience i will not be getting lash extensions again but when i got my lash extensions i recorded the whole thing and the entire video was out of focus like the entire video so uh, really the only footage i had was from me getting my eyebrows laminated and i had a little bit from where i got my hair done but it just wasn't enough to do a video with so i just never posted it but i'm just brushing the brow glue through my eyebrows because my eyebrows done got a little long they need to be shaped up and i just need them to lay down so i brush through this way I brush them up and then brush them down to coat the back of my brows so they stay plastered to my forehead. But yeah, so let's get into these questions. Let me pull up the first one while I'm doing this. All right, so the first question, how have you 
been? I like that question. That's like a simple question, but I feel like that's necessary. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, check up on people. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Y'all actually being concerned with my well-being. But I've been okay. Um, Obviously, I've been gone for a while, which was for a reason. Really, I just got super discouraged with like the whole social media thing, YouTube, especially after Vlogmas. For one, Vlogmas wore me the out. Not sure I will be doing that again. If I do, it'll be like a weekly thing instead of me vlogging every day and posting every day. That was a lot. And I knew what I was getting myself into by doing vlogmas, but I really just, you know, wanted to take on the challenge and see if I could do it. And it was definitely hard, but yeah, after vlogmas, I was so tired of looking at editing screens. I didn't want to see another camera, nothing like vlogmas drained me so bad. Like I just did not want to pick up the camera for a while. And I actually did not plan on taking a break for this long but also after vlogmas i just got super discouraged because like i said vlogmas is a lot and i felt like you know i did my best with it and trying to post a video for y'all every day and i felt like nobody really cared like you know what i'm saying like i felt like i did all that for nothing like of course i have my few viewers that that watch the entire vlogmas and you know which i appreciate of course and i and i appreciate those people but like i said i just felt like nobody really cared and i just feel like like lately i just been feel like nobody really cares about my videos if it's not like a wig video and i hate that like i really hate that because i didn't start my channel just to do wigs like if you've been following me from the beginning you know i was doing some of everything when i started my channel i was doing makeup hair clothing hauls i think i did a couple sewing videos i did diy stuff i was doing some everything because if you know me personally you know i do a lot of things like I was, it's a lot of things that i'm good at and it's a lot of things that i like to do and also part of the reason why i struggled with what i wanted to do in life because it was so much stuff that i liked like it was so much stuff that i was good at and i didn't know where to put all that like i didn't want to oh i I'ma just take up cosmetology or whatever and just do makeup or hair because that's you know that's not the only thing that I like I like fashion stuff too so you know it was just pretty overwhelming when I was trying to figure all that out and like what I wanted to do with my life because like I said there's just so much stuff that I like to do and it was just no one thing that fit all of those things like you know what I'm saying other than youtube i like social media but even with that people have this whole narrative that you should pick a niche and stick to it and i don't like that okay i'm gonna tell you right now i don't like that and i'm not doing it like i get it i get what people are saying like people subscribe to certain people for certain things or whatever the case may be or they may like you for this certain content or whatever the case may be but that's not me like i'm not gonna stick to one niche because that's just what you're supposed to do as a content creator or like that's how you have a higher rate of success or whatever the case may be just because you picked one niche and to. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna be doing wig videos all the time. And I love doing wig videos. I love my wigs. Y'all know that. But like I said, that's just not, that's not what I started for. Like, you know, and I just want people to understand that. I may lose some viewers because I'm not doing wig videos all the time and that's okay. But, and I know the ones that like my content, like no matter what I post, whether it's a wig video, a fashion video, whatever the case may be, that's gonna watch no matter what. I know that I have those people too. But yeah, I wanna get back into doing everything else that i started my channel doing like all my other things y'all know i be cooking too if you follow me on instagram i be in the kitchen and you know that's something that i want to include on my channel too just i just want to include all things me like i just want my platforms to be my outlet for all the things that i like to do i want to showcase all my talents i don't want to pick just one and do that like you know i don't want to just do hair i don't want to just do makeup i don't want to just do clothing house i want to do everything like even my commercial that was something new that was my first time ever doing a commercial if you saw it on tiktok but that was something new and obviously that's something you know i'm pretty decent at even though that's my first time doing it but i teach myself stuff and try and figure out stuff myself and you know if it comes out good it comes out good but that's just another thing that i want to showcase that i want to show y'all just things that i like to do things that i can do things that i'm good at whatever that's just another thing added to the list you know what i'm saying so yeah i be doing a lot of stuff i want to do vlogs like i've done a couple vlogs before i've done travel vlogs i did a birthday vlog when i turned 20 one i did a birthday vlog when i turned 22 i think and i did a birthday vlog last year when i turned 23 but yeah i've gotten all off topic y'all i've gotten all off topic but yeah to answer the question how i've been i've been okay i've just been dealing with that like i said i got really discouraged with the whole social media thing i'm not gonna lie because like i said i just feel like nobody really cares about my content i have what 28,000 subscribers and the view count and the subscriber count just ain't adding up and i don't understand why so all that was just kind of getting to me the past few months because i don't understand like you know it's just kind 
kind of confusing is like you know you subscribe but you don't watch i don't understand that because it's not like i make anybody subscribe to my channel or anything like that and so i didn't necessarily know what i was doing wrong you know i'm just running my mouth i haven't even done anything in my makeup but yeah i just didn't necessarily understand like what i was doing wrong like how do you have 28,000 subscribers and like not even 10 percent of that is watching you know what i'm saying so yeah i've i've just been dealing with that and i just got really discouraged just feeling unseen i know a lot of people can relate to that especially up and coming content creators feeling unseen like feeling like you're just always looked over and like you know i try so hard and i've been pretty consistent on my channel i normally post weekly for the most part i try and be consistent on other platforms you know what i'm saying i try to stay consistent on instagram before it turned into a dumpster fire over there i don't know what the heck instagram got going on now but i'm using the um wet and wild cold eyeliner pencil in semi brown now to fill in my eyebrows but yeah it's just after i got over the whole vlogmas thing like being wore out it was just still like i was just discouraged with like the fact that i don't understand why i have all these subscribers but nobody's like really watching and i don't understand why did you subscribe just to not watch like you know what i'm saying so but yeah i'm much better now i've gotten back into filming i filmed a couple videos i filmed a couple tiktoks that will be coming out and then i have a haul that will be dropping a little thing haul spring summer vacation vibe type of haul that's gonna be dropping but yeah i'm getting back into filming i'm super excited to film like i'm not all in the dumps anymore you know what i'm saying i'm feeling a lot better now but yeah so basically that's gonna answer where i've been because that was another question somebody said how have you been and how come you've been gone if you don't mind me asking somebody else asked how you're doing so that basically answers those questions that's where i've been that's why i've been gone i just got really discouraged for a while and normally i'm pretty good with that like and don't think i was gonna quit either that's just not ever gonna be the case i'm not gonna quit but normally i'm pretty good with that like i've gotten discouraged before with youtube but i never let it get to me like i would always like just push through it and keep filming keep posting anyway but for whatever reason this time i just could not shake it like i just could not film i didn't want to film oh my god i'm gonna cry oh my god ew oh my god stop 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 let me get my fan Whew, okay, but yeah. Yeah, normally, like, I wouldn't let it get to me. Like, I'm pretty disciplined, and, like, no matter what, like, if I have to get something done, like, I'm gonna get it done. I'm not gonna let nothing stop me. I will stay up all night, you know? Like, that's just how I've always been. I just, if I have to stay up for 24 plus hours to get it done, it's gonna get done. But, yeah, it was just really, it's been a hard first few months of the new year, and I didn't want to start the new year off like that. But, like I said, it was just really hard for me to shake it. This was just different. I don't know. And I just needed the time away. I just needed the time to get back, you know, on my shit get back in my zone and just like get out of that funk and get back to doing what i love so yeah it's just really hard trying to build something yourself like for one i started my channel back in i was in college my first year in college my second year in college like 2018 ish 2019 i can't remember around that time though so i've been on here for five years maybe and you know of course now it is a lot of people you know trying to do content and be content creators but you know it's that few that select few that that's actually successful with it because they actually see it through you know some people start just because it's a trend and everybody's doing it some people start because they actually like it some people actually love making content but like I said the thing is you gotta stick to it and see it through and I knew that when I started my channel back then I had started it and then I stopped for a little while and then I, I got back to it and I said like when I started back that you know I was gonna try and post weekly like if I'm gonna do this then I'm gonna do it all the way like you know what I'm saying and it's just as long as I've been doing it and I don't want to put a rush on anything like I know everybody's you know on their own path but it's just really hard it can be hard and it can be discouraging sometimes to see people like that start way after you and like just take off and you've been like busting your ass for years and feel like it's just taking you forever to get where you want to be and like i'm not gonna lie and sit here and say that that doesn't get to me like of course it gets to me of course i have my moments i also had to get it through my head that everybody's on their own path and in their own race and i'll get to the point where i want to be one day I, I mean i know it's coming but you know it's just i felt like it would have been sooner than this like i felt like you know i just always felt like i had a lot to offer and i felt like like i said i had a lot of different talents a lot of different things that i'm good at this is the heart shape take concealer in tan sand that i'm using to conceal my eyebrows but yeah what was i saying i'm gonna get to that point like i want my hundred thousand subscribers like i'm gonna get my 100k plaque i want more brand opportunities i want to work with more than wig companies i want to work with clothing brands i want to do travel videos i want to do cooking videos i want to collaborate with different brands surrounding those things but yeah i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there and like i said this is something that i've been doing and this is 
you know, the path that I chose, even though I did go to school, I graduated college December, 2021. I got my bachelor's in business administration because y'all know I have my own brand. So if I was gonna go to school, I wanted it to be for something. I wanted to start my own thing. Like I never necessarily wanted to work for anybody else. I'm just gonna be for real. I just didn't, uh, but I went to school and I chose a major in something that I wanted to do for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to start my own brand, have my own business and stuff like that. It wasn't for me to work for somebody else. Like I didn't go to school to apply to work somewhere else. So you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with going to school. Like if that's what you wanna do, if you wanna go to school and you know what you wanna be in life, go to school but like i didn't go with the intentions of applying to work for somebody else you know what i'm saying i actually started school as a nursing major and i didn't even want to be a nurse and i ended up switching my major my sophomore year i think the end of my sophomore year to something that was more fitting for me something that i wanted to do that i was actually interested in because i wanted to run my own shit you know what i'm saying but yeah like i said there's nothing wrong with working for somebody else if that's you know if you know what you want to do in life you know what you want to be and you know the path that you want to go on that's great that's just not what i wanted to do so yeah when i started youtube and people used to always tell me to start a youtube channel because I, I used to do so much stuff like not trying to brag or anything like that it's just it's just a lot of things that i'm good at it's a lot of things that i like to do it's just a lot of things i've done since i was a kid i started doing nails when i was in middle school i was baking cakes in middle school i wish i had pictures of them they're on my ipad and i can't get in my ipad because i forgot my password but i was baking cakes i was cooking in middle school of course i didn't start makeup and hair until high school i've always been into fashion um and i started sewing in college so and i've always been into like diy crafts like i've done little projects with clothes before but i didn't sew it was like gluing things or whatever because i didn't know how to sew but yeah i've been i've been doing this stuff since middle school so i've been growing in certain things and learning and getting better at certain talents because i've been doing it like i said i've been doing a lot of these things since i was young young and by the way i'm concealing the top of my eyebrows with my foundation shade which is the kat von d locket foundation in deep 74 warm i feel like i'm rambling but yeah i'm just trying to give you all a little backstory about you know me doing youtube me being a content creator it's not easy and people i remember when i started my channel and people didn't take me seriously and i had already said like i'm gonna get a thousand subscribers i'm gonna get monetized on youtube and all of that like i'm gonna be making money off of this and i don't think anybody really took me serious for real they're probably just like oh okay yeah until it started happening and they was like oh you're really doing this like yeah girl that's what i was trying to tell you or boy that's what i was trying to tell you but i never let that get to me and i know i had a few people like oh where are you gonna apply to work where do you want to work at or you still need to work whatever the case may be and and i try not to let it bother me because i know like it's like you know the older generation i know they don't understand the whole social media thing and how it works for real but i never let it bother me i never let it stop me or whatever i didn't let it get to me because it was just even more motivation to prove these people wrong like i'm telling you that this is what i want to do i'm telling you this is what i'm going to to do i'm telling you this is going to be my job no y'all don't see it as a job because i'm not punching a clock or whatever the case may be it's just even more motivation for me to prove these people wrong like i'm finna do this and you're gonna sit here and watch me do it then you're gonna sit there and look stupid because i tried to tell you you know what i'm saying but yeah i know i'm not taking the route that most people expect you to take and expected me to take and you know just the typical graduate go to school be a nurse doctor lawyer type shit and i feel like that's all people know and see like and like i said you know people that want to do that they can do that there's you know people that want to be nurses and doctors and lawyers and all that that's for them that's not for me though so yeah and eventually i just got to a point where i just kind of stopped answering people like i just kind of started ignoring people people were asking me like oh what are you gonna do like now that i graduated school like i was still doing youtube when i was in school if you watch my videos you know like i don't even talk about it in some videos like oh i gotta do my homework before i do this or i gotta do my homework before i go out and do that whatever the case may be or i gotta test or whatever the case may be majority of my youtube career i have been in school in college and when i graduated college then that was just everybody's question even though i had when i started youtube i was already in college and this is what i wanted to do youtube and you know of course i have my brand my business that i want to take further eventually but yeah it's just like the constant question of like, oh what are you gonna do now where are you gonna work and you know all that and i'm like this is my work like what are you saying i'm confused that's why people are still asking me that like like i've been monetized on youtube for two or three three years now i've been monetized on youtube that was really getting annoying to me like at one point and like i said i just got to the point where i just started ignoring people like people would just constantly ask that and it'd be like the same people asking that and i'm telling you the same thing like why are you still asking me that i just got to the point where i just started ignoring people like i'm just not gonna answer you because like you know and that's, that's just not me trying to be rude but it's just like what did you not hear the first time you know what i'm saying 
Like, I know this isn't the what y'all are used to seeing people do out of school or just do in general or take this path in life. I know the social media route is new to, you know, the older generation and nobody in my family has ever done it. But I tell you what, I plan to be the first. I just want to show people like that it can be done. Like there are other ways to make money out here. Yes, school is a route to take to make money, but that's not the only route. And I'm already, I've already graduated school. I've already been to college and I made money throughout my entire college career doing this, just this in my business. But I just wish people would get it out of their head that school is the only way to go like going to school and punching the clock is the only way to go because it's not like it's it's just not and i just i just want to be successful in what i love to do but i also want to show that it's possible and i also want to prove people wrong like i just want to show people like yes i did not take the traditional route but i'm gonna be just as successful as everybody else just as successful as people that went to school and were working nine to five or whatever if not more like i just want to be the person to change the narrative like it's okay to go a different route like it's okay it's okay yes it may be hard and it definitely is hard i'm applying the same foundation that i just used to conceal the top of my eyebrows my cap on me lock it foundation like i want to be the one to change the narrative like i want to be the one to show people like you can do what you want to do you can be what you want to be i literally i've answered one question just sitting here rambling about this but y'all this just really bothers me like this is stuff that i think about on a daily basis stuff that i've been dealing with for years and i just need to get it out i'm sorry if i'm rambling but i just need to get it out because it's not easy and i hate that people think it's so easy because people just think i'm not gonna call no names but it's just people would think like they would see me because i'm always in my room I'm always in my room and I'm always home because I film in here and I edit in here. I'm always sitting on my computer and people assume that I'm doing nothing. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, like I'm telling you people like actually thought this about me. That I just sit around and do nothing or like sit around and like when I was growing my channel and you know, before I even got monetized, people just thought like I'm just sitting around doing nothing. I'm just always on my computer. I'm always in my room. But they didn't see what it was that I was doing in here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they didn't see that I'm in here spending a couple hours filming. I spend about four to six hours editing okay y'all want to talk about nine to five and don't want to consider this as a job that's a job baby okay being a content creator this social media shit is a job like i don't care what you say just because you think it looks easy i guarantee you if i gave you all this shit right now all my equipment and everything you couldn't do it if i handed it to you not speaking to y'all i'm speaking about you know the people that silently judged me throughout this process or not even necessarily silently but throughout me growing my youtube channel and progressing in my youtube career but yeah they just weren't seeing what i was doing sitting in this room sitting on my computer all the time spending several hours editing posting a video once a week until i got to the point where i got monetized until i got to the point where i started making money until i got to the point where i started working on brand that was paying me more than what I make from what Google pays me. They just weren't seeing the vision until the money started coming in, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, and that leads me to my next question that somebody asked, what's the hardest thing about being a YouTube creator? That right there, like just dealing with family or like close people that don't necessarily understand what a content creator is or like how it works. And also another thing that's hard about it is you gotta be disciplined to do this. And I've always been pretty disciplined. Like, like I said, when it's something I gotta do, it's gonna get done. If I set my mind to something, like when I decided I was gonna do this, that's what I did. And I knew it was gonna be a lot. And I knew that people would always say that, you know, it's gonna be hard, you're gonna wanna give up. Especially when the progress is slow, when the numbers are low, you're gonna wanna quit but don't or you might see people getting further than you that started after you and that may bother you and that may get to you you're in your own race and don't let that stop you and i didn't but yes yeah, those two things are the hardest things about being a content creator to me like you have to be disciplined to do this like you basically make your own schedule you have to make yourself get up and do this and it's not like going to work and like you get fired if you don't show up because you cannot film if you want to like you can you can decide to not show up to work today but you have to be disciplined enough to be like okay like i have to get up and film i have to get up and edit today even if you don't want to or you don't feel like it you have to like that's how i started looking at it when i started my channel back like i started treating it like this is my job like even though i don't punch a clock but that's how i started treating it like i have to show up to work just like everybody else that does actually go to a job and i have to get it done even though like yes this is just like you know it was fun to me like i basically turned my hobbies into a career 
but like i said i had to start looking at it like a job like i had to treat it like a job i had to you know show up do what i'm supposed to do so yeah i would say those are the hardest things that you have to be disciplined. Also, I would say the growing process because like I said, it it will get to you. The numbers will get to you. It's hard to not pay attention to them. People, I know people are gonna tell you, oh, don't pay attention to that. And it's hard not to, and it's hard to not let it get to you because like you want your videos to do well and stuff like that. So it's hard to not pay attention to the numbers. I wouldn't say to ignore it. I obviously like, kept up with my progress, but I didn't let it stop me. I'll put it like that. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it like keep you from posting another video like oh this video didn't do well i'm just not gonna post anymore or you make three videos and they don't like you just start your channel you make a couple videos and they don't do well and you stop don't let it stop you i won't say just to ignore the numbers completely because i definitely didn't like of course i was watching my numbers everybody does like that's just the truth everybody watches their numbers but don't let it don't let it stop you like you just gotta you gotta see it through and the numbers will come like you just keep being consistent and keep being yourself the numbers will come i promise growing something yourself from the ground up is hard especially like and it's not as hard for some people because some people may have you know a lot of friends or maybe popular or like already well known so like starting out it may seem like it was easier for them to start because you know they're popular when they started or whatever the case may be or it was easier for them to get their name out there because they're well known me i've never been popular i don't have a lot of friends i don't have any friends actually i have like my few like social media friends i've never like met these people but that's about it but other than that like if you see me hanging out with somebody it's most likely it's my cousins or my sister so like with me like all this was from ground zero like all of this like i've never been popular i've never had like a large following nothing like that so like i literally started this from absolutely nothing you know what i'm saying and that was hard too and it's crazy because even with the amount of subscribers that i have now i'm just like wow even though like like i was saying earlier that obviously all these people aren't watching my videos but you know this many people went out of their way to subscribe to me and that's crazy to me like and i was so concerned with people like in my hometown supporting me family and stuff supporting me and my family is pretty supportive for the most part most of my family i was so worried about like people in my hometown like not supporting me because I would like promote my videos on my page. It didn't seem like anybody was, you know, really caring or like liking the posts or whatever the case may be. And then I'm worried about this little old town. Y'all, I live in a small town. I live in a freaking country. I'm worried about this, you know, little old town and worried about these people supporting me. And it's 28,000 people all across the world. Some of people are in different countries that support me. Like, that's crazy. That's really crazy to think about. So, I would definitely say, like, if you're starting, like, don't be worried about, I'm telling you right now, the people closest to you and the people, like, in your hometown, people around you are not gonna support you. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. Like, some of them may, but for the most part, they're not. Your true supporters and a majority of your supporters are gonna be complete strangers to you. And that's wild. Like, that's really wild to think about. This is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, by the way, the same concealer I use to conceal the bottom of my eyebrows. The same shade that I use. Yeah, that's just, that's really wild to me. But that just goes to show you that you can grow outside of your hometown. There are people all over the world that will literally support you and have never met you, don't know you at all, and will support you before some of the closest people to you will. So, yes, those things are what's hardest to me about being a content creator and you know having to prove people wrong having to deal with people that don't understand it like especially like older family members it's hard dealing with that and like somebody always in your ear about how you need to go the traditional route and like not being supportive with what you want to do and not acknowledging what you already do and how much you've accomplished with this non-traditional route that I'm taking, you're not acknowledging any of that. You're not acknowledging the fact that, you know, I did this from ground zero. It took me a year and there's nothing wrong with that. I got monetized a little over a year after I started my channel back. Not acknowledging that, not acknowledging the fact that nobody else has done this in the family. You know what I'm saying? But like having to constantly deal with people in your ear about you need to go get a real job, a real job, you know? And like they don't see what you do as a real job. But like I said, like I never let that get to me because like I said, I, I could hand this person or these people that, you know, treated me like this, all of this shit right now. You couldn't do it. Like, I, like you know, you couldn't do it. I remember I was talking to a family member and they was like, I mean, all you do is just record a video and post it. Like how long could it possibly take? What? Like I was just like, what? All you do is sit in front of a camera and record 
and post a video. I said, I said I had to edit the video and they was like, I mean that don't, but that don't take long though. I said, it takes me four to six hours to edit a video, a YouTube video. What? Yeah, yeah. You wanna talk about a real job or a nine to five, baby, editing alone is half the shift, okay? Over half the shift sometimes. And filming is the rest of the shift. And planning out the content is another part. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, that's a lot to deal with and that's hard to deal with when you don't have the support that you would like to have from the people that you love and the people that's around you and you don't necessarily have that because you didn't go that route and they seem to support the people that went that route more than you that's been one of the hardest things to deal with and like i said i never let it get to me because that's just even more reason for me to prove you wrong and when i do baby i don't want to hear it okay i don't and i try not to be that way because i hate being that way but it's like i try and think of it like i know you don't understand because like i said the older generation Generations don't understand but it's like i'm trying to tell you and all i want is your support for real i'm not gonna beg you for it and i'm really not gonna ask you for it because if you don't support me just on your own you just don't support me i'm not gonna ask you to you know what i'm saying but it's just like when you don't have that it did bother me because like i saw how they would you know these particular people would support other people around me because they went the traditional route and they wouldn't treat me the same way because I didn't go that route. But like I said, yes, that was hard to deal with, but it was also more motivation for me to keep pushing through this because when I get to where I want to be and when I show you what this can do for me and I show you where I can take this, baby, you're going to be sitting there looking like a fool and that's all I'm going to say. So yeah, I've gotten through like three questions. Okay, next question. What's the best part of it? What do you love most about being a content creator? What I love most about being a content creator is I get to do what I love. Like I said, I basically turned my hobby into a career and I just feel like that's just like the absolute best thing. I, you know, basically make my own schedule and I have the creative freedom to do what I want to do with my content. I get to be creative with it. I get to, even with my hair videos and like how I style my hair, I get to be like creative and do different things, try different colors, different editing techniques and get creative with that. Like it's just the, the freedom that I have with this. Like, yes, of course it is very, very time consuming and you have to put a lot of time into making content happen. And like I said, you do have to treat it like a job because I, you know, obviously I want this to be my job and this is my job, but yeah, this is still like the things that I film are my hobbies, even though this is my job, but like this is stuff that I love to do. So I feel like that's, that's one of my favorite things about it and having people across the world that support me. I have people in other countries that support me, people. I don't even know people from London. I have people from Jamaica. I have people from Africa that support me. And that's just so crazy to me. Like that's one of the coolest things about it like just being able to reach so many people and also some of the people that you know have dm me that i've inspired to do content or just you know whatever the case may be whatever i inspired you to do all those things are like the best part to me i love making content i love fashion beauty stuff um i love vlogging i definitely want to do more vlogs and y'all will be getting more vlogs from me soon and i just want y'all to like you know connect with me like i want y'all to see my personality more and like not just me doing a wig review all the time so yeah back to some of the hardest things by the way i just want to go back to that really fast because i forgot to mention this another hard thing is feeling like i know my channel grew a lot from my wig videos but like I said, that's not what I started my channel doing. And I just, another thing that's hard is feeling like nobody cares about your other content. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I just wish, sometimes I just wish that, you know, it didn't matter what I posted. That like, y'all would like it anyway. People are gonna rock with it anyway. Like no matter what I post, whether it's a clothing video, fashion video, makeup video, hair video. That's also been something hard that I've been dealing with recently. Cause I'm just like, I just wish people would like appreciate my other content. But, you know, I know people like what they like, so that's nothing that I can necessarily control, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna put on powder. Now I'm gonna do powder, so I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in a medium deep 30 to set my concealer. Next question, are you gonna do more Amazon wig reviews? Yes, I'm gonna be doing more Amazon wig reviews. I know those are some of my most popular wig videos, my Amazon reviews. I actually have two wigs over here from Amazon that I'm gonna be reviewing soon. So so yes, I will be doing more Amazon wig reviews soon. Y'all can also feel free to send me some too. Like send me some wigs that y'all want me to review off of Amazon. Just like DM it to me. 
on Instagram or something. But yeah, I would definitely be doing more of those. I will still be doing wig videos. I'm not gonna stop doing wig videos. That just won't be all the time. That's not gonna be what I post. Every time I post, it's not gonna be a wig video anymore. Next question. Hey, fashion icon, you never be in any social media drama on YouTube. How do you avoid it? Baby, I don't talk to nobody. <laughs> I do not talk to anybody. Um, I've never been the type for drama anyway. I've never been in drama. I don't bother anybody. Um, like I said, I don't even talk to many people. Like the people that I hang out with are my cousins and my boyfriend and my sister or my family period. That's it. I don't be up in drama. That's never been me. I don't care for it. You will never see me in that. Yeah, I really just stay to myself. That's really it. People that I do deal with on social media, like the people that I am cool with on social media, my little social media friends, I tend to deal with people that are the same way. Like I don't deal with people that you know, are up in drama, cause drama, whatever the case may be. So like even the people that I have connected with on social media are out the way type of people too. So, and you know, nice people, I'm a very nice person. I'm just never in the type for drama. Like I'm not a messy person. I know girls like to be messy. And that's part of the reason that I don't have female friends at the moment, you know, other than my few little social media friends, because I'm just, I've already been scarred from that. Girls just can be messy and rude and mean and nasty and jealous. I'm not with all that. I'm not with all that. I got enough of that in high school and that was my last time. So yeah, I just stay out the way for real. I do not bother anybody. I know I look crazy right now, y'all, with this powder on, but trust me, it's gonna come together. Trust the process, trust the process. That's how I stay out of social media drama. Stay to myself, mind my business, okay? I think a lot of people should do that. I think we all should, you know, whether you're on social media or not, that's just something everybody should do. Mind your business, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, hey friend, the person that asked that question, that's friend. So hey friend. Friend asked a lot of questions too, there's some more on here. This isn't a question, but somebody said, I miss your YouTube videos. I've been rewatching old ones. I miss y'all too. I'm back now though, I'm back. Aw, that's so nice. I really don't be thinking, cause like, I just really don't be thinking anybody be caring about me for real. So that's so nice, but somebody said that. Okay, next question. How do you do your makeup, specifically how you found your foundation color? Well. I guess that's kind of convenient because I'm doing my makeup now. You know this isn't really a tutorial and I can do an in-depth tutorial if y'all want. But how I found my foundation color. Well, for one, I had to um understand undertones and all that stuff. I didn't understand none of that when I first started doing makeup. Like back in high school and stuff. Like some of my foundation would be way too orange. Or like it just be looking kind of crazy sometimes to me. I had to figure out my undertones and whatever. And I had to basically go in the store and just play with different foundations like i would just take the little testers and test it on my skin to see which one match best basically i do not let people match me because a lot of the times and i don't know what that's about like when you let people match you people that work in the store it'd be too light like every single time it'd be too light like what do you think i am so yeah i don't let people match me now if if y'all got some people that work at y'all's makeup stores ulta sephora's whatever the case may be and they know how to match then you know go for it me no, but really I just had to play around and test out different ones like in the store on the little testers and just see which one matched me best. And like I said, you gotta pay attention to undertones too. So yeah, I don't know if that helped at all, but yeah. I'm taking the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, medium to dark, and I'm using the contour shade over here to contour. I wanna get into some new makeup brands. Um, I definitely want to get into NARS, but I don't have a Sephora near me. The closest thing I have to me is Ulta, and even that's like 45 minutes away. And Ulta doesn't carry NARS, but I definitely want to try some new products. So when I do my updated makeup routine, or if I want a makeup tutorial, in-depth tutorial, and maybe some different products than the ones I'm showing y'all right now, because yeah, I want to change my foundation. I want to use NARS and I want to change my concealer to NARS as well. So yeah. Next question. Would you ever do reaction videos? Probably not. Ugh, that's just not my thing. I never understood that. No, probably not. <laughs> not even gonna hold you. Mm -mm. And next question. Have you thought about trying the app Timu to find wigs? I have not actually. I actually have been on there looking for clothes. I was gonna do a clothing haul with that, but y'all think I should try a wig from there? Let me know, cause I definitely will see what they talking about, see what's T. I've heard a lot of talk about Timu. I don't think I've heard anything about wigs though. I think it's more so that I've heard clothes. It may, it may be some people out there that have tried wigs from them, but I haven't heard anything about it. Y'all think I should try a wig from Timu? Is that how you say it anyway? While I'm sitting here just probably mispronouncing it. Is that how you say it? Let me know in the comments. I will definitely go find me one or y'all send me one that y'all want me to 
try. Y'all see how long it's taken me? It's been like two hours since I started my makeup. I, it only takes me like 45 to 50 minutes to do my makeup because I'm sitting here running my mouth. Like, girl, I feel like I, I feel like we're getting really deep today. I feel like y'all are really getting to know me. And this is really new to me because I don't really open up to people, especially about how I'm feeling and like things I'm going through and things I'm dealing with. I typically only talk to a select few of people when it comes to those types of things. I just don't trust a lot of people. You know, I've had experienced people not necessarily listening to me when I'm talking like you're not hearing me not hearing me out or like using stuff I've opened up about against me you know so I'm a little hesitant I'm a shy girl I'm a little hesitant about opening up to people and making friends because I just don't people are crazy for one people are crazy these days like people be off they're freaking rocker i don't know what's in the air what's in the water who be raising these people like y'all ever just look at people and be like who raised you like you know what i'm saying like really who raised you i just be glad for the way i was raised because this people out here is just really wild people have like no respect morals i just don't i just it's hard for me to trust people it's hard for me to trust people if i've opened up to you before you know i really f with you if i've opened up to you or like i can actually sit and talk to you or hang out with you i really i really f with you because i don't don't do that with a lot of people like i said i be in this room i step out every now and then i really love family events like i like when we gather for like christmas or easter you know i wish we would gather more often and like not just for holidays because i really be needing that sometimes and that's nothing i've ever said to them or like my family or nothing like that but i be needing it i really do like we did a halloween party with my mom's side of the family and we had done it like 12 years ago i think and we hadn't done one since then so we decided to bring it back this past halloween and it was just so great even though i didn't sleep for two days straight trying to make everything happen and pull the whole party together i did not sleep but like i said y'all me when it comes to something i got to do it's gonna get done like if it's not done i'm not going to bed like i will get it done i know that's not healthy at all don't be like me but i mean that's just how i am i've always been that way like if it's something that's got to get done it's gonna get done like i'm gonna see it through but yeah anyway we had a halloween party and yeah like i was just like after the party and like when i went home i was just so emotional after like in my room when i was in here by myself i was just like i just be needing that sometimes i just be needing that time with my folks like just genuine fun like i'm not the party type like clubbing you know smoking drinking type i'll drink every now and then i don't smoke though i got enough lung problems but yeah that's just not my scene i've never been that type of person even in college high school i wasn't the party type i don't like parties that's just not my thing so like i love family time i love just genuine fun like laughing just playing games eating you know a good key key you know i just really love that and i was just so like at the party, I was like, wow, this was just so great. And it's just such a good turnout. And like everybody came. Yeah, I just be needing that sometimes. And I, like I said, I just wish like my family would gather more often. Like I didn't see them like five times a year for holidays and stuff. Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Because I really be needing that. Like I, I feel like that's something like that's like therapeutic to me. Like I really be needing that. So yeah, I'm going to contour my nose and my eyelids. I don't wear eyeshadow. If you watch my makeup tutorials in the past, you probably already know that. I just contour my crease of my eyelids and that's gonna be my eyeshadow because I just, I don't really do eyeshadow anymore. I used to do all types of different makeup looks, like eyeshadow looks all the time. If you've been following me for years, then you know that, but I don't really do that anymore. I haven't done that in years. Anytime I do that type of makeup is on somebody else. Um, I might do that actually for a video and see you know try a different makeup look on myself okay next question how's the business going what's next the business is going well after my commercial i got so many orders from different people all over the place people that was commenting on my tiktoks and people was commenting like oh i just ordered that was really crazy to me like i had a bunch of orders i sold out a couple of the lip glosses but yeah if you haven't shopped go shop whoshebeauty.com link in the description go get you some lip gloss eyelashes accessories all that good stuff but definitely get you a lip gloss if you don't get nothing else get you a lip gloss i stand by my lip gloss but yeah as far as what's next um this is nothing that i've ever talked about but a few years ago i wanted to actually start a beauty supply store and it's, you know it's gonna be called hushi beauty supply and of course my products will be in there you know my lip glosses and lashes and stuff but it will of course it will be a beauty supply store with beauty supply store products like all the other products that you would see in, in a regular beauty supply store but my products will be in there as well but it will be my store because you know this is all stuff i considered when i started my brand like i wanted my name my brand name to match with everything i want to do so um 
you know, a beauty supply store. You know, the name goes with that. Hooshi Beauty Supply. You know, it all goes, you know what I'm saying? So that was something that I wanted to do because there's no beauty supply store where I live. You have to drive like 30 minutes to get to a beauty supply store. But um, someone is already opening a beauty supply store down here in my hometown. And my cousin's actually a part of it, so... I'm not really sure about if I'm gonna do that anymore because I don't know. Not that two people couldn't do it, but I don't wanna take from anybody else. And like I said, it's a small town. I don't know what good it would be to have two beauty supply stores, but it could happen. Another thing I want to do, I want to sell wigs as well, but I wanna have top notch wigs, like HD lace, knots. I want the hairline to be like already plucked. Like I basically just want my wigs to be ready to go like for people that don't necessarily know how to pluck and bleach knots and all that. And I wanna have HD lace. So for people that don't necessarily have a lot of experience with wigs, it's not hard for you to melt it and blend it with your skin. I just wanna have some bomb hair. So I don't know when I would do that, but that is something that I want to do. And that's something that people have requested for a couple years now, which is fitting because y'all know wigs took over my channel. So that's what's going on right now. I want to also get more into um, like campaigns and stuff like campaign shoots for my um brand yeah or maybe even if with the whole beauty supply store thing even if i don't have like a uh, the shop that i wanted to have in my hometown like maybe have an online beauty supply store or have a beauty supply store in a different location definitely doing more commercial type videos for different drops or whatever the case may be i definitely want to come out with some more shades of lip gloss but yeah obviously the commercial did really well and clearly was a good idea so i definitely want to do more videos like that when i'm promoting and stuff like I want to really get into like top notch promotion for my business. But my biggest thing is a beauty supply store. Like that's the biggest thing that I've thought about as far as like what's next. I don't know how far in the future that will be or how soon that will be. I definitely want a beauty supply store. Lucy Beauty Supply. Even a chain of beauty supply stores will be fire. Like that would be so cool if I had like a chain of beauty supply stores, Hushi Beauty Supply across the world. Okay, now I'm finna apply blush. If you're not wearing blush in your makeup routine, I'm not sure what's going on. Not sure what you're doing. Um, I don't know what brand this is. It's just this little palette that I found in my makeup stuff. I'm trying to www.lottie.london. Is that the brand? Lottie London. But anyway, this is what the back of it says. So Yeah, I'm gonna apply blush. I rebranded my business, changed my colors. That's more fitting for me. I know I love pink. Let me apply my blush really quick. Um, next question. Can we get more natural hair videos? Yes. I know I didn't vlog me getting my hair done for YouTube, but I did vlog it for TikTok. Um, me getting my hair straightened. But as far as my natural hair, as far as my curly hair, I will be doing a video. I actually might record that next week. Me, like how I typically wear my natural hair. Uh my curly hair because i definitely need to wash my hair and i've gotten my hair flat ironed twice in the past three months i got my hair silk pressed in december and then i got it silk pressed again in february which is unlike me i normally only get my hair i only straighten my hair like once or twice a year but i've just been loving wearing my hair lately because i've been wearing wigs so much so i got my hair straightened and silk pressed again but i definitely want to wear my curly hair some too so yeah i would definitely do a video wearing my curly hair probably next week when i wash my hair i don't want to keep get my hair straightened but i'm definitely going back to get it straightened because i want to try curtain bangs so yeah i'm wearing my curly hair for a while just to keep heat off my hair for a little bit but yes to answer your question y'all most definitely can get more natural hair videos while i'm taking a break from wigs they will be back though because i have so many people emailing me about wig collaborations and i'm really starting to miss it for real i have not worn wigs since december when i was doing vlogmas when i got my hair straightened in vlogmas if you watch the vlog i have not worn a wig since then so that's a new record for me. That's a new record for me. But I've been loving it though. I've been loving wearing my natural hair. So yeah, but the wigs will be back. But natural hair is going to take over for a little minute. Hair products you recommend while wearing wigs and sew-ins. When I wear wigs, I typically, I think I've done a video like me prepping my hair for wigs. And normally I wear my hair curly. Like I have my curly hair underneath my wigs. I typically don't blow dry my hair to get it braided down. I get my wet natural hair braided down. I normally just do the LOC method. I put water obviously spray it with water oil i have been using my sister's oil for a while and i know a lot of y'all was asking about it this is her quencher hair oil that she had came out with but she hasn't dropped any since then but hopefully she'll be back soon so y'all can purchase yeah oil i'll apply that oil and then a cream so i have my hair bag right here my natural hair products i use the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie that's what i've been using lately yeah i really don't know too much about natural hair products other than like what i've 
stuck to but that's what i've been using as of lately i also like to use the aussie moist shampoo and conditioner to wash my hair before but yeah those are the products that i like to use right now if y'all know of any my sister is more into natural hair products than me she done done plenty of research on natural hair stuff she's way more into natural hair than i am i still try and take care of my hair i, just, I don't do like extensive research and like that i i just really pick up stuff that look like it's all right or stuff that i've heard of before that people use and i grab that or like products that my sister recommends or something but yeah i don't be doing nothing too crazy with my natural hair like if i'm ever styling my natural hair anytime i wash and like wear my curly hair those are the products i'm using water oil and moisturizer this stuff right here so yeah this is what i be using on my hair when i get my hair braided down underneath my wigs and people be asking me like how does that work I typically for one i get my hair braided down like a day before i install a wig so my hair has little time to dry but yeah you want to keep some like if you're wearing your curly hair keep your hair moisturized and i oil my scalp in between installs but yeah that's really all i do okay wow for me to not be a talker i shall be running my mouth with y'all not gonna dust off this powder the excess powder on my face same black radiance true complexion contour palette i'm just taking the middle shade shade closer to my skin and dusting off the powder so you don't have flashback and it blends all that out. I'm gonna ask y'all some questions. What's y'all's plans for the summer? Y'all have any plans this summer, spring, trips, any events, stuff like that? That's another thing I wanna do. I wanna be invited to like brand events. I wanna be invited on brand trips. That's where I wanna get to that point in my content creator career, YouTube career. I wanna get there. And I'm gonna get there. I love this blush color. I found it recently. Before I was using the Juvia's Place um, Festival palette, I think. Is that it? Yeah, and I was using the red shade in there as my blush, but then I found this and I just love this color. Okay, now I'm gonna do highlight and then that'll be it for face. And then we'll move on to eyes and lips. So for highlight, I mixed the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wipe Highlight. I've had this for forever and I still have plenty. And then I mix it with the Ofra Highlighter and Rodeo Drive. Yeah, I just wet my brush with some water and then dip in my highlighter and then spray it again. Now we can move on to eyes. Okay, so I'm just taking my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner, a regular black liquid liner. Y'all know I like to do my little wing. I done mastered this wing, y'all. I've been doing wing eyeliner since middle school. I started trying to do eyeliner in like seventh or eighth grade when I played with different makeup. I was watching Michelle Fawn back then. Y'all know the OG YouTubers, the OG makeup girls. I used to stay watching Michelle Fawn. I haven't seen her videos in so long. And I bought all the Coastal Scents palettes that she used to have with my little money that I would get for Christmas or something, birthday. I didn't get into beating my face for real till I was a junior in high school. Okay, now I'm gonna line my waterline with my Wet n Wild Cold Eyeliner Pencil and Baby's Got Black. Okay, and then I like to put a little wing in there in a the corner. So a little flick. Boom. And then for mascara, for top and bottom lashes, I use the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my lip gloss off so I can do my little lip combo. So I'm lining my lips with the color Rain Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mocha. I just like using this because it's like a real dark brown. And I don't think I've found a liner yet. I really haven't looked though, for real. Because I had this that's like a real dark brown. I don't want it to be black. I just want it a dark brown. And this gives me that. So I line my lips with this. Now I just take my little brush and blend it out. Okay, boom. And then I'm taking my lip gloss, pushybeauty.com, <laughs> and I'm taking the Georgia Peach lip gloss and just applying that all over. Hmm, yeah. I love the smell of this one. I love the peach smell. Ugh. Okay, we'll do lashes before I answer this last question. I'm gonna put the glue on the lashes and let it get tacky while I talk to y'all okay last question your favorite Nicki minaj song that's always on repeat okay oh i don't have a 
favorite of all time because Nikki got some bops. But right now, though, I'm going to tell you. Only on the seas if it's breeze, red ruby, the sleeves, Chinese on my sleeves. These want to be chun Lee's Anyway, yeah. Now, these bitches come walk in my Crocs. That's word that Dundee. Just a bunch of airheads like Kelly Bundy. See, the difference is I run businesses. If I ain't employed you, then what your business is? If I ain't employed you, then what your business is? If I ain't employed you, then what your business is, okay? That's a serious question. That's the one right now. Another one that's on repeat is, uh, what's it called? Seeing Green with Drake and Lil Wayne. That's a bop. I feel like that's slept on. I don't really hear a lot of people listening to that one or hear a lot of people talking about that one. They ate down on that song, every verse. Yeah, Seeing Green from the Be Me Up Scotty album. I feel like that album is slept on for real too. I'm gonna need y'all to put a little bit more respect on that album. I like it. Seeing Green and Red Ruby the Sleeve. That's my two right now. And we go up. What with five year foreign. That's one thing nobody can take from Nikki though. She eats. Y'all can't take that away from that girl. She be having her moments. And you know, it'd be a little hard for me to defend her in the moments. I just can't. But y'all can't take that away from her. That girl eats. When it comes to a verse, she eats. But yeah, those are my favorites right now. Okay, let's put these lashes on. And I'm using my Hushi Beauty lash tweezers. Mm. I'm telling you, if you struggle with putting on lashes, what you need. I've been putting on lashes for years and I still use these. Every time. Y'all see mine are a little dirty. The name scratched off and everything. Red Ruby, the sleeves. Chinese on my sleeves. These wanna be chun Lee's. But yeah, when I apply my lashes, I kind of like tilt them up a little bit when I apply them. Because I like that lifted lash look. Okay, now I'm gonna just take my little fan so it can dry a little faster. These are the Juvia's Place lashes, the Nubian lash in the style kush i picked these up in ulta like over a year ago i think and i love this style i love how they like flare out at the end that's my type of tea that's my vibe with lashes like short and then they get longer out here and like flare out you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. all right y'all that completes the makeup look i'm gonna take this hair down i'm not really gonna do nothing to it <laughs> and boom this is the final product that completes the look. That's it for this video, y'all. Thanks for chatting with me. Good talk, good chat. Y'all asked some good questions, and I definitely want to do more of these. So follow me on Instagram so y'all can participate in the Q and A videos when I post my Instagram story. Y'all can ask me questions so I can connect with y'all. I feel like we bonded a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. That's it for this video, you guys. I will link my products that I use below if I can find all of them. I'm gonna list them in the order that I use them. I'll put the link to my Amazon storefront as well, like I mentioned, if you wanted to try the Tatcha products that I mentioned in the beginning. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video.